What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Before we get into today, today's video, I want to give a massive shout out to my members of this channel. ABC123 became a member just over three, four days ago. Peter for two, he's a member nine days ago. And obviously Lance Morris has joined in also on the streams. A big shout out to you legends for becoming a member of this channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click on the join link down below quite a few nice perks available that will come into action as soon as we get a few more members onto this channel. Today's video we're focusing on the world's highest paid rugby players in 2020. It's it's an interesting year we've definitely had. Obviously we haven't had much rugby. We started off with Six Nations and our provincial leagues but that has all been on a halt due to the current pandemic that is taking place. A lot of these clubs are suffering financially. Not sure where the future lies for these clubs. Rugby Australia has been in the headlines most of the past month or so. And um, what we've done today is I've, I've gone to the ruck.co.uk. Um, they've done a summary of the richest or the highest paid rugby players of 2020. And um, I thought I'd go through it in a video today because I know a lot of us are curious. I, for one, was definitely curious to see what these blokes were earning. And also one of the reasons why these guys rush so quickly to go and join overseas. I mean, we, we watched a lot of players sacrifice international, their international careers in order to go play overseas to earn the bigger buck. And it's a question that many people ask themselves is, are they playing for money or are they playing for pride? And I mean, if we have to put ourselves in the situation, if we get a job proposal or um, a uh, uh, a promotion we generally take it why because of the better pay the better situation the better lifestyle we're going to live for our families etc etc so we've got to think that way but a lot of people have missed the thought that we play for the love of the sport because that seems to die these days because we players are more focused and rightly so on the dough at the end of the day Today's video, we are looking at the top 20 highest paid rugby players of 2020 and we kick off with Springbok scrum off um, Faf de Klaak. Sale Sharks, his deal is half a mil pounds, so 500,000 pounds. Um, he enters the list after signing the new contract with the Premiership Club. Up at number 19 spot is Paddy Jackson from London Irish, also half a mil. And these are all in pounds, by the way. So for South Africa, times that by 20. 223 bucks, well over millions. At um, 18, Sergio Parisi, the former Italian captain, or definitely now since Six Nations has stopped, um, he has been a star for more years than most and um, has been paid big money for his services no, at number eight by Toulon. Kieran Reid, former All Black captain, Toyota the Blitz, he's earning currently 519. Um, also, just over half a mil. At least incredible, considering this is his afterlife, after retirement from international rugby. We got Finn Russell, the Scotsman, uh, who plays for Racing 92, and he's earning 535,000 bucks. We got Johnny Sexton at 15, obviously with Leinster, he's earning 536,000 bucks. We've got Rice Rice Webb from Toulon, he's earning 550. Manu Tuolagi, Leicester Tigers, 550. Stuart Hogg, Scottish captain and plays for Exeter Chiefs. Um, obviously leaving Glasgow Warriors where he was earning 350. Now, <laughs> look at that, 550. He's moved to the Exeter Chiefs. We've got Morgan Parra. He's earning, he plays for Clermont. He's earning 570,000. Tenth place, we've got Michael Hooper. Plays for the Waratahs, 572,000. These are where the question marks in Rugby Australia. How are they going to adapt? Are they going to definitely look at players like Michael, who's earning half a mil um, and reduc reduce his salary in order to save the company or sa save the franchise? Ninth place, Nicolas Sanchez, start of France, yes. Uh, he's, playing, he's going at 581,000. Got Dan Bigger in eighth place, 600,000. We've got Stephen Lewis. Lito, 
650000 Didn't make any friends within the All Blacks hierarchy when he decided to cash in on the extreme rugby talent signing for Bristol. He has since signed his contract extension. Owen Farrell, captain of England, plays for Saracens. Currently, obviously, and just a shout out to him, he's decided to take a massive, massive pay cut. His worth is 750000 Maratoje, Saracens, um, 800000 We've got Andre Pollard. He's on one mole with Montpellier. Times that by 20. That's a lot of money. We've got Charles Pitao. He's from Bristol Bears, earning one mil. He's tied with Pollard. And then number one spot, one and two technically, but shared, is Matt Guido and Dan Carter. 1.1 million pounds. Dan plays for the Kobe Steelers, which is obviously just finished, announced his, uh, that he's leaving Japan rugby and the talk of him going to the MLR, whatever it's called. The, what, uh, the American League and then Matt Guido plays for Suntory San Goliath and they both as mentioned 1.1 1. 1 million money doesn't seem to be a problem over there in Japan so interesting to see the power of investing in the sport and you know what the scary thing guys is that what Lionel Messi makes in one year is so much more so much more than that 1.1 million. He's in the 100 millions. It's terrifying. Hope you enjoyed this video. Something different, something interesting. Um, I, for one, thoroughly enjoyed caring this and reading about these guys. How some sacrificed international careers in order to follow the big the big bucks. How we're seeing Owen Farrell and Marat Toje getting so much money from Saracens who are in the shit and now dropping down. You look at South Africans like Faf de Klerk earning half a mil and then Andre Pollard one million in Montpellier. It just shows the worst. And it's interesting to take note. Ghetto, Carter, Pollard. All fly-offs. Okay, Ghetto can play um, number uh, centre as well. But very interesting. I enjoyed it. hope you did too. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.